Before we begin, I encourage you all to like and subscribe, as your support is really appreciated. I also recommend you check out the BCA for any local pool leagues in your area. And also check out Inside Pool Magazine, as they have some great billiard content. And lastly, visit jflowerscues.com for some great products at great prices. Now on to the video. Philly Fingers here, performing a deflection test on a carbon fiber shaft. And the carbon fiber shaft I'll be testing is a J Flowers shaft. To perform this test, I'm gonna take two object balls, the four ball and the eight ball. I'm gonna place them on the short rail and I'm gonna place them so close to each other where I can just fit an object ball in between. In this case, I'm using the red 11 ball since the stripe is gonna help identify the rotation. Now, I'm trying to place the balls as perfectly as possible, leaving just enough of a gap. I wanna leave enough room so I can clearly hit the 11 ball in between the two object balls without touching either one. I'm trying to be careful not to have the balls frozen, but also not leave too big of a gap. I wanna comfortably be able to hit the 11 ball in between these two balls. So I'm gonna remove the ball now and leave just this space here. Now, before I start testing for deflection with side, I want to start testing, can I hit straight on? Dead center ball, go up and down the table, and I'm on a nine foot table. So I want to make sure that I can just hit the ball perfectly dead center and have it return to me with no issues. So for that reason, I'm using the 11 strike ball so that when I hit the ball with the stripe, you can see the rotation. So if I hit it perfectly center ball and I do exactly what I want, I shouldn't have any rotation. The stripe should stay in place. And that's what I'll attempt now. I'm gonna to try to shoot the 11 ball in between the two object balls, and hopefully I will not make contact with either one, and the ball will return directly in a straight line back to the cube. You will also note that I'm shooting this whole video in slow motion, hence a little bit of the flickering lights. So as you see, I'm hitting this 11 in slow motion, you can see the path of the 11 where the stripe is relatively staying in line. It's not really wobbling and it's not turning. I am able to then hit in between the two balls, not making contact with either of them. It's also again, returning right back in that straight line. So it seems like I was able to hit a solid center ball hit. I've also set up cameras from above. So as you see here, you're also gonna get a shot from the top view. This is also in slow motion, hence the flickering lights. But as you'll see the 11 ball approach, the same shot as it came in, it never touched the four nor the eight. This lets me know that my stroke is good, my stroke is in line, and I'm making perfect contact, which is great. I've also wanna run this back and replay it, and I'm gonna freeze frame it. So I'm also gonna show you examples where I'm gonna freeze the camera freeze the image to confirm whether or not the ball made contact. And you'll be able to see that right here. As you can see in this still shot, it touched the rail, but never touched the four nor the eight. Hence, I left a little bit of gap. That's why I left a little room and I didn't freeze the balls together. I'm now gonna attempt a shot where I'm gonna apply right. So I'm gonna give it right English. Instead of hitting center ball, I'm gonna go all the way to the right and spin the ball. So now what I expect to happen is I still wanna fall in between those two balls. But this time, because I have the right English, you're gonna see the stripe spin and I'm gonna to wanna to expect to hit the rail first without hitting either of those two balls. But because I do have right spin, after I hit the cushion, I should spin to the right and hit the four ball, which is what you see here. Now the idea is even though I hit with spin, I still wanna go in a perfectly straight line, hence no deflection. If I were to have any deflection, I should not be able to hit in between those two balls. I will hit one or the other first before hitting the rail. So let's take a look at a top-down view. So as we switch over to top-down view, this will confirm whether I deflected or not. And as you can see, I did not. I hit the rail first, then the spin took action, and then it hit the four ball. Let's watch it again and freeze frame. Again, as I hit the rail, I am not touching either ball. 
then the spin applies and the four ball moves. I won't bore you with endless shots of the same thing from different angles, but in short, to summarize, I was able to consistently hit in between the two balls from the right side, from the left side, and as you see here, I've had no deflection. And it's that zero deflection that enables me to make shots like this, where I can go in a very straight line, hit the rail first, and then cut the one ball to the left. All in all, I'm extremely happy with the J-Flower carbon fiber shaft. It has performed exceptionally well and is probably the best one on the market for its price. Let me know what you guys think below and until next time.